start this video, I need a little PSA announcement. This is all shot in Mexico, not in the United States. This was Mexico. This was all on a closed course. And some of the all some of the footage is altered, and I really was not driving past the speed limit of any of the roads I was on. Okay, back to the video. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Adam with ND72. So we got the death cart out here in sunny Mexico, right by a beautiful lake. So today what we're gonna be solving is I've been getting a lot of complaints about my rear mounted cooling system. All right, so a lot of people were complaining about my rear mounted setup, and here it is really quick if you do not know. I got a big old BMW water pump, which is also known as like a CWA 4000 or 400. I got my Mishimoto five gallon tank and my Needs Wings rear mounted heat exchanger with a fan on it. So one thing people were complaining about and saying that this was not gonna cool efficiently at all is that the air would come over the roof and just go right over it. But even if that is still true with aerodynamics, it's gonna put a different pressure system over here and with this fan, it should still suck air out. If that's true or not, today I'm gonna prove to you that this system works. Now, for boost and all that stuff on this car, it's factory supercharger, factory clutch style system. It's not any more PSI, any more boost. All this car has, it's a SLK 320 with the SLK 32 supercharger on it, so it's higher compression, so it should make more heat. So we're gonna go do a few testing today. I'm gonna do roughly two pulls with data, and then we're gonna do two pulls with ice. So we're gonna see how cold we can actually get this to simulate a drag racing situation. Now also, as you can see, it is a hundred degrees out here today. It is sunny, it is hot. The sun beams directly onto my supercharger. Look at this beauty, come on in close. Look at this beautiness, it is hot as crap, but look, it even says ND72 on it. So we're gonna do the testing, I'm gonna show you some data with my N-Dash from Needs Wings, big thanks to Rob from Needs Wings. And if you want any of this data logging stuff I'm using today, you can call up Rob and use coupon code ND underscore 72 to get a little bit of a discount. He's got the logger, he's got all these sensors, it does help a lot. And we're gonna go over it, I'm gonna show you on the laptop what my stuff is. But let's get out there and do one or two pulls with no ice, no nothing. And then we're going to come back and throw ice right in and go right back out. All right, so we're driving out here in a nice little Mexico area. Right now we're cruising. It is 101 degrees out here. Look over here. It's actually 101. Can you see? Let me get over there. Yeah. 101 right now. And we are at 108 air intake temperatures. So we're going to do a nice little pull and 106. We're not going fast, we're not doing anything crazy. We're gonna do a nice little pull, two pulls, and look at data. All right, I don't know how good the audio is gonna be, but we're gonna go test this bad girl out. I got my logger on, I'm gonna turn the fan back on the rear, so it might get a little bit loud from the fan. We're gonna see how it feels. And we're just gonna do like a 20 pull.
Okay, so we just made the drive back, and we're only at like 113, so we're like 12 over, just chilling. And that was with the fan off because we were talking. And you could, you could hear how the fan makes it kind of hard for video, so I do shut it on and off just so everyone does know. But we're gonna look over the data, let it cool down for maybe five minutes while we start getting ice ready. Oh, hey guys. So in this part of the video, we're gonna go over the data from the data logger on how the cooling system doing. So if you remember, right here at this point of the video, it's roughly 100 degrees out. We're doing no ice, no nothing. I got my laptop and my nice little buddy over here. So we're gonna go over the data. All right, so right here, we're kind of going over the data. So this is just mainly the part of the run that I was actually doing the hit. As you can see up over here on the top area, we have air intake temperatures Fahrenheit, boost, RPM, and throttle positioning, because I wanted to show you a few things. So if you look, when we start off the pool, we start off at 106 degrees, which is like six degrees over ambient, maybe five roughly. And then we go in there and we start getting a boost. We go right into like 11.2 and you can see the RPM. We're kind of basically, I think it's in the shift. So that's not bad. More or less, that's probably just kind of like spinning. That's why the boost keeps coming in and out, in and out. And this is where I let off a little bit because we were still spinning. You can see how I went to right here, drop throttle, position down. We go up. We keep getting a good like 11 PSI, 11 and a half PSI of boost. And the max we really see in air take temp is 129, so 30 over. And then we get out of it. And then you can just see like it's a pretty good cool down. Let's go all the way down here. I think we got a little bit more to see the cool down. Where we go, where we go. Quick little dude. Yeah, we can see how it starts cooling down right back. So that's pretty good recovery. That's not bad times. Okay, so going over the data, it looks pretty good for this system. So this is basically, like I said, factory boost, 100 and something degrees outside. It's, it's not bad. And if you want any of this data stuff, Needs Wings has it, Rob. It should be, it's pretty easy to just plug and play and it does give you a lot of data. So now we're gonna go back to the video and then we'll come back to the video, to the data part of when we actually put ice in and see the difference. All right, so we got the three bags of ice that are already melted pretty effing bad. And we're gonna start dumping out this water, uh, which is pretty easy on my system. I got a little valve right there. I should have, I think I got my pump moving right now. Ooh, just burn the crap out of my leg on the exhaust. Oh, I'm trying to rush too much. Okay, this is pretty hot water. So I want the hot water to drain out before I start throwing some ice in there so it don't melt. But I got the pump circulating. I'm probably gonna throw the fan on really quick. I have a brand new battery, so it should last. That way it just keeps dropping temperature. That's what I'm gonna do. So it might be a little noisy, guys. Wow, that one bag almost all melted. I'm gonna shut the fan off because the water now coming out is pretty effing cold. All right, so the water circulating, the whole bag is almost melted, but it's still circulating water to keep cooling that supercharger down. So we're gonna let it sit a little bit and then throw two more bags in there. Because now, it should not melt as quick. Now that the, before the water was probably 120 degrees, now the water is probably in the 60s. So even though it's still circulating through the supercharger, pulling temp out of it, it's not gonna melt the next two bags as quick, I hope. But we're gonna let it run for a little bit until I feel the water kinda cold again, and then we'll dump even more. All right, so we're gonna throw the other bag in here and get ready to start doing a pool. Well, we're going to throw the third one in here anyways, because right now this ice is not like pack pack. So I want to dump water out and just keep packing more and more ice in there. Because in the racetrack, I probably would do five bags. Like when I actually go to the track, this car is probably going to get five bags of ice in it just because of how the box is and all that stuff. So, which it should keep it cold through a run. That's what this data is going to show. 
if I do the two hits and we pull over and when we get back to the spot, if there's still ice in there, then I know three will work. The first one will melt off and the other two will keep it cold. If not, then I'll know five bags for next time. Because right now, like look at the ice, it's staying a lot effing colder. But I still have the water dumping out and I still have it cycling, so it's going pretty good. Even the pump, like if you feel this pump, like it's feel right here, cold. the pump is even cold. Freezing actually right here. Yeah. I bet you if I had metal lines, you would see condensation. All right, last bag. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, found a problem. Oh. Okay, everyone, I need to put a filter down there. Yeah, a piece of ice cube just got in there. That's why, I don't know if you could hear it on camera, the pump started getting really loud. You didn't hear it, Berto? Kind of. Yeah. Whoa, that is, that's pretty epic cold in there. But now the ice ain't even melting. I gotta keep dumping water out. again. I think it's moving now. Holy shit, that is awesome. Like, I can feel the chunk in there. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Turn on melt it. Yeah! Alright, so... We're gonna try to bleed the system. As long as air or water comes out of here, I know my pump is not clogged right now. Ain't looking good. I might have to squish my hand around. I don't think it's gonna be a problem once I fire up the car because it should melt it. But right now I can literally put my hand in there. Yeah, I can feel a cube in there. I gotta put a I gotta put some sort of screening apparatus. Alright, so we'll fire up the car. So right now we have no pump circulating. I'll fire it up, hopefully the heat will melt whatever's in there. No, it won't. I gotta get it unclogged. So if I do turn the car on, there we go, now we can hear it going. Yep. Come on, come on up. There you go, there you go, see? Now I got water. Sounds like it just clogged again though. No, it's going. So we're gonna have a little bit of a flow issue on this hit, but let's see, now that least water's circulating, it will get warmed up and it should warm it up a little bit, but. I didn't even think that was gonna be an issue, Berto. No. All right, so it's still 103 out, and look at our temps right now. 50 we're starting out with. Can you see it? Is it kind of glary? Can you see? Yeah, you can see it. All right, so I'm gonna go do my pool, do data logging, and then we'll have fun. All right, we got the logger on, the fan on, everything on. We're starting at 50 degrees, and it's 103 out. So we'll do this nice little 20 pull, just like the last one. We'll do the same thing, two hits, and look at data. with that ice in there that is pretty good i don't think i saw it go over 80 with the ice but it felt pretty fast remember it's 103 out here in mexico so we're doing a nice little yui and then we'll do a pool it'll probably be about 45 seconds to a minute before we do another pool over here but not really i'm doing back to back to back like this is all going to be live data for you so we'll do one more Yeah, right now we're at 52, so it did get a little hotter, but I want to see how much ice we actually burn once we do this pool and get back. Pretty 
good. Let's go back and pick up our uh, street buddy in Mexico. Man, I need to fix these front brakes though. Hey guys, thanks for watching these videos. At this moment, clearly if you're watching this video, you must own an SLK32, a C32, an SRT6, or a Crossfire. And you're already enjoying the M11, M11 II platform and M11 IIK platform. But you know what everyone else likes? Saving a little bit of money. One way to do that, I got a coupon code for you. I got 10% off of an intake from Needs Wings and bigger crank pulley from Needs Wings. I'm putting a link below. I'll probably put something right around here of a little thing to remind you. But the coupon code is ND underscore 72. And make sure when you go in there, it says, how would you hear about us? Also put ND underscore 72, and that should get you 10% off of a bigger crank pulley for more boost. Soon I'll be installing this on my car right here, and you actually will see a how-to in doing it and everything you need. This is a 70, I'm pretty sure it's a 178 crank pulley from Needs Wings. That coupon code will get 10% off of that and 10% off the sweet intake. Not this exact one because this is mine, but you'll be able to get the Needs Wings dual intake for 10% off. Pick whatever color you want. I like my color. I can't remember what it's called, but I think it was like candy red. And this kit is very easy to install. I made a video of it, or basically you're watching that video right now. So I hope you guys like it. Remember, Needs Wings website, coupon code is ND underscore 72. Let's get back to that video. Okay, we made it back. We're kind of parked in the shade, but look at right over here. Look at the condensation on this effing pump. This stuff is still, oh. No ice though. No ice. All right, so two bags. How cold, how cold is it? Man? Not that cold. I mean, it's not hot. Well, it's cold, dude. We yeah, it's not that cold. This Let me see. The 50s, no? Yeah. Let's see if we lost the pump. Oh, you think that's what happened? I think we lost a pump at one point. I don't feel it right now. Is it on? Oh, I feel it now. Okay, okay, the pump did come on. So, I definitely... <laughs> Second time you do that. Gosh! <laughs> Those tips are burning his ass off. Jeez, I did it twice. <laughs> okay, so besides, apparently my tips are an issue because I keep burning my effing leg on them. The pump needs a screen on it. I need to put something that's like oval because the ice cubes, when they get small enough, are getting sucked in there and then the pump is kind of cavitating or losing flow. So I don't know if that happened during the run at all. The data didn't really show it, might have, but I don't want to F this pump up or drive down and not have fluid flowing through one point. So I will develop like, I'm just gonna, some sort of screen. If anyone's got an idea or something, my kind of idea is just like chicken wire, maybe on top of my head, put it around there and zip tie it up. So if any ice is gonna hit the screen, it'll be pushed and melted. So, but, that was some good time, so we're gonna let the car cool off, we're gonna look at some data, and then we'll discuss it. Oh, heads up guys, I got per burnt pretty effing bad. This is about four days after, and it still did not heal. Like, look at that bad girl. That thing burnt me pretty good in multiple spots, and it still didn't heal. Like, look at that bad girl. That thing burnt me, and this is like four days later, it's still healing. I got pretty good burnt with that thing. F my life. Okay, now we're back with going over the data of when we added the ice. So if you remember, this was a hot day. We literally did two pulls with no ice, back to back, and this is the second pull with ice. 
So this is gonna be a pretty good example of at the racetrack and all that stuff of driving in and out of the pits. So let's go over this bad girl, this video. And I got my other little helper right over here, Rocco. Sit, buddy, sit. Well, that kind of worked. Right over here, we're gonna go over, this is the second hit with the bag of ice. So as you can see, we're starting off now at like 50 degrees air intake temp. We drove to the nice little spot in Mexico. And then you can come over, you see we go to 100% throttle. Boost is coming up, boost is coming up. We're definitely spinning so much more because you can actually see, you see down here, this is my throttle positioning. So you can see how I was letting in and out, in and out. So we go through it, we go through it. We do almost like the same type of pool. Started from a 20 roll. And I definitely had a feather a lot more, but even look at like the air intake temps aren't, aren't going too low or too high, I mean. So they max out at like 84. And then even right after the pool, so here's where I let out. They start dropping right back down, and you can just see it going doot, 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 and it goes all the way down past 60s. So as everyone sees, this system is pretty efficient with cooling it. So with adding ice at 100 degree temperature outside, we were able to keep it down. So even though the ice was cooling all the water, my system was able to keep the temps pretty good down. So basically what it is, we shoot up 30 degrees over whatever the starting is each time, which really is not that bad. Now we were out in hot, sunny Mexico where it's well over 100 degrees. So in my opinion, you definitely feel a huge difference when you do add ice and no ice. But the main testing of what we were trying to do today is how the, ass, how the ice was reacting to the system, which we found out, how many bags we need, which we found out, and if my system of how having the rear mounted heat exchanger and everything in the rear actually worked pretty good. And it really did. It was very efficient, very fun. Now granted, this car is, like I said, from this sensor, it's reading roughly 11 to 12 PSI boost, which is stock. If we're starting at 100 degree outside and we didn't see more than a 30 over 25 30 over and the recovery time mwah, great oh, did you like that it's even rocco approved so i hope you guys like the video there's gonna be a lot more videos coming up with my death car we are now that we got some good data of what stock is for air intake temps and boost and all that stuff we will be now doing the next few videos doing a mexico pool we're going to actually see our zero to 60s are quarter mile times maybe a 61 30 i don't know yet i might have to like do something with my brakes because they are squealing pretty pretty bad but i hope you guys like this video we are going to be doing adding a lot more power to the car and making it a lot safer i'm talking to a few people about getting it caged that way it's a little bit more uh track friendly we'll put it that way so i could actually go to the drag strip and not get kicked out because as of right now i'm pretty sure i would get kicked out how it is so hopefully you guys like the video. Make sure you go throw a like down. Make sure you guys subscribe. Throw some comments down, anything like that. If you got any questions, let me know. And most of these products that you see, you could either get on Amazon or at needswings.com for a lot of stuff. Also, big thanks to VTech for tuning all my cars. He makes them very good and very reliable for my setups and all that stuff. Big thanks to that, and I'll catch you guys later. Ladies. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up.